growing up, I was into street shit. Hustling out of Grand Marquis Caprice. People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit. But I always knew that I. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? We bring you the hottest artists. You know what I'm saying? The legendary artists, the up and coming artists in the city. You know what I'm saying? And today, another in the hot seat. I mean, my hot seat. You know what I'm talking about? We got my boy T Tato. My bad. Tato in the motherfucking business, man. We finna go down there. You know what I'm saying? Learn about what he been going through. You know what I'm saying? In this music industry. We finna talk about, you know what I'm saying? How he got in the music industry. You know what I'm saying? His passion, his goals, and more. You know what I'm saying? So today, like I say, in the hot seat, Tato. And I want to say, man, appreciate you for coming up, man. And how you doing? Hey, I'm doing great. Man. I already. You, man. Here, man. I already. Yeah, 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 my boy reached outside. You were know, shot outside. You, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, man, you got tap. You say you got tap in, so I'm yeah, tapping in. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm sure. saying? So. For the people out there that don't know you, please let them know who you are and where you're from. Well, who I am, I'm Tato Tatum, and I represent Frontline G's out of Wasahedge, Texas. Okay, Wasahedge, you know okay, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, you know what's up. Round the corner, round the Yeah, 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 yeah. 20 minutes, man, ain't too far. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, <clears throat> originally, you know what I'm saying, I am from Oak Cliff, you know what I'm saying, I'm just everywhere. Right. right. Really, basically, shit, you know what I'm saying, but uh, I'm from Oak Cliff, age of 12, you know what I'm saying, but Doing this thing, got us out the hood, moved somewhere good, some shit happened, right. got jammed up. She had T John, put me in the car one day, I fall asleep in the back in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? I wake up, I see trees and shit that we got that one. I say, Mom, where we at? Where we gonna be staying? And I just watch that. So shit, you know what I'm saying? It was out there <clears throat> over ten years, you know what I'm saying? Just putting it down for the scene out there. And as far as you know, just rap shit, you know what I'm saying? But it's all love, it's DFW all day though. Who's who's out there doing rapping on uh, Watch Hatch? You know what I'm saying? Big dog, you know what I'm saying, that came out, you know what I'm saying, big brother Boston Lee, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He had some spins on the radio, you know what I'm saying, doing doing a little big shit slide a <coughs> car around here. Coming at the Watch Hatch. Okay. Oh no. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Shit. I, 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 I got it. Yeah, I got a CDL. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. You know what I'm saying? In this mold for me. Like my nigga Devin do say. Like, in this mold for me. Yeah, man. Yeah. I got a CDL. Yeah, I'm trying to go. Nah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. What that trucking business like? Oh, man. The trucking business, like, on some real shit. Is y'all hurting right now? Nah. So they just bullshit on YouTube. No, nah, it's a need for truckers like more. But they oh. see they see the money in that shit and they see how easy it was for people to get into it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know what I'm saying, they making a lot of static and shit like that. But that's the biggest thing right now is to get a CDL because they that shit is constant motion. You saw when the COVID shit happened. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Delivery, like, delivery every day. Yeah. yeah shit, I know I was on that motherfucker delivery. Right, nigga, he sent you like a motherfucker. Send it to me, send it to me, shoot. Sure. Nah, for real. For Don't. real. What about the gas? What the gas looking like on the truck? Shit. And I say them got hurt. The nigga say them. I don't even know the note gas going down right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know we at 389, but you know that was a big jump from you know 489. You know what I'm saying? I'm still stupid. Yeah. I'm still stupid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. Yeah. It's, how, it's how you work it. Nah, like, it's, it's true. Cause I still see a lot of people out there on that road though, mm -hmm. and they, they still bringing that bacon home. You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. nah, for real. So what? 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 Landed you to start with who inspired you to start even doing music? Where'd it come from? Where'd the music come from? Ain't it just <laughs> music's always been in a nigga. First of all, I just always love music, you know what I'm saying? Going back to Michael Jackson with the glove type shit. Okay. The kids, you know what I'm saying? MCM with all that shit. Uh <clears throat> can't touch this nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But oh, um, I always been big, big uh with Biggie, Pop, you know what I'm saying? Pimp C, you know. That type of shit right there, just riding with my big brother. That's how you jamming, you know what I'm saying? Just real nigga shit. But uh, <clears throat> coming into my own, shit. It was just the, it was the thrill of, I had some niggas around me they rap too. Like I said, watch the hatchet, some niggas out there go hard. You know right. what I'm saying? Real shit, shout out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Two I could hear these niggas on a CD. And I was like, damn, that's them niggas' voice. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And so I'm fucking around one day. I went to my mama room, shit. Took the teacher on tape recorder and shit. And had a beat playing on the radio in the background. Put the tape recorder on. And 
I started doing it like that. You right, know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. And I heard my voice, I was like, yeah, that shit. Yeah, like, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Just yeah. the love for that. Like, damn, my voice can be heard now. Yeah, yeah. That type of shit. That low five days. I yeah. remember that putting that tissue in that tape, you know what I'm saying? And letting it go. Nigga, shit. When yeah, you, yeah, nigga, I had yeah. found the tape, played that whole. I'm like, damn, that whole dragging like a yeah. motherfucker. Nigga, I think, damn, tape was slow in the bitch back then. <laughs> So I know exactly what you're talking about, man. I know, and I know that feeling too, cause she nigga, nigga gonna bump that hoe all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. Nobody bumping. Yeah. I'm bumping that shit. Yeah, I'm shit. bumping it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Square business. So, like, outside, so the people in watch had you, a couple people out there that was doing their thing, they inspired you to really say, okay, I'm finna cut it. You yeah, know what one saying? took off, took off, but I'm just saying, like, right. as far as people doing their thing, it's a lot of people doing their thing. Right, it's right. Like, I just tapped back in with this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm getting to catch up on what's been going on out there. Right. Like every day I'm seeing a new artist. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, nigga shut it down, man. Right, 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 <laughs> right. right. Them niggas shut it down. Yeah, it's, it's, and, and that's it's, it's, how you think it is when like every day when you see a new artist, as an artist. As an artist? Yeah. That's good. Right, right. That's good, bro. I'm telling the truth. Y'all already know what's up. Like, I done been in this shit. I come up in boogie era and shit. Right. You know, paper chasers and, and party boys, all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Cross country, black, them niggas and shit right. like that. Wow. But to see, yeah, <laughs> to see these, to see these young niggas coming to this shit, mm -hmm. I love it. Right, right. I love it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I decide, I had my little girl, and that's when I decide I'm gonna sit down and shit. I wanna do, I wanna do, I wanna do that. Right. Be a father. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I kind of saw some shit coming into the game, which actually happened. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of young, younger niggas coming in. It was a bunch of rah rah. You know what I'm saying? Right. <clears throat> and I was like, yeah, the game is really kind of get fucked up a little bit. And at the same time, looking at the young niggas, and the young niggas like, they got demands. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, everything me, all my team did, we had to get in these streets, go do these shows, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Woo -woo -woo -woo, you know what I'm saying? We had rag daddies every goddamn week performing, and you know, just our right. type of shit. You know, niggas pound the pavement. And then I seen new niggas coming in, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they automatically had demands, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, this is what it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, this shit, this game going crazy. Right. And so I had sat down, you know what I'm saying? I had dropped the album and I had sat down. But watching that shit happen now, I was like, man, niggas did that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did that. Because I mean, we didn't have the, the social media, the, the all this Instagram, Snapchat, all that. We didn't have that shit. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, we barely just got hooked on the MySpace and shit that, you know what I'm saying? We barely know how to use that. We start yeah, saying like, nigga, how you put that on there, nigga? How your shit generate like that, nigga? Hell. No. Yeah, no, nah, square real. business. Yeah, we come straight out of CDs. And to see them come out with their demands like, look, this is what I'm worth, this is what I want type shit. Right. And I, and I saw that shit take off. You know what I'm saying? We used to look for deals back in the days. Right. Get signed. You, know, you need no deals now. If anything, right now, shit, give me a distribution deal. You know what I'm saying? I'll be cool with that. I don't want nobody over there. I want control over everything we're doing because that's how it started. That's how right. we keep oh, doing yeah. this shit. You know what I'm saying? Publishing deals yeah. and stuff like that's that. It. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. add to it. I don't need a nigga to take over. Or licensing deals, one or two, you know? And I feel you on that. I mean, I I, I think yeah, the, I like the new generation. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I ain't gonna lie. Some of the music ain't all, you know, ain't all the way there. But, you know, that's their music. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And they is yeah, making a lot of waves. But a lot of them, too, is fucking off that bag. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. With the we'll, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, well, let's talk about it. We'll you know what I'm saying? About. I'm just saying, it's just, like, we did the same shit. It ain't no difference. Mm -hmm. But now... It's all in the open. It's like now it's yeah, like, it's, like nigga, about to say, it's, it's just in the, the open. Bag, you know right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas just like I'm gonna fuck. Yeah. Thing. You know what I'm saying? So when you say a nigga snitching on you, how's a nigga snitching on you? You already told yourself. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yourself. Like it like it'd be like it, it, it like today is real confusing. Everything backwards. Nigga, the meaning of everything is backwards, you know what I'm saying? Then when then when you as black folks, we always give a meaning to words that ain't even the true meaning of the word and we don't even know the true meaning of the word that we use it so it's like we so we so messed up right now like the whole culture is like even from the from the man rap to the female rap is very stagnant mm -hmm. it's one way it's one directional you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. like it's like if i if i can't i can't even get you to listen to my lyrics unless i shake my ass yeah. you feel what i'm saying i can't even get you to bump my cd unless i pop this nigga on with the jail you know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I'm on online beefing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, huh? With that, with that transition from like 
because I'm in the middle of that, you know, from, you know, I ain't just have to be out there in the streets, in the streets like that. But I came on the tail end of that. But a lot of that had to do with, you know, the laws changing. They started busting people for selling this. You know, so a lot of that kind of died. And then, it, you know, the technology era came in. You think it's easier for artists now or do you think it's harder? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why so? Because it went down to a penny. From back then, we was getting $10 over $10, $20 over $20. Oh, now you talking about on some paperwork shit? No, I'm just oh, period. Just, just I like just need easier, like, like, to be discovered. Because that's how, that was your oh, number one yeah, goal. Yeah, I mean. Oh, it's probably easier now to get discovered. Yeah, to be discovered. Now, I can't talk about the major major level on some money shit. But I'm just talking about, like, you getting your feet wet. Hey, I want to rap. I get in the game and shit. Man, yeah, that's some easy money right there, bro. I'm telling you. Trust me. I know. You know what I'm saying? It ain't a big it ain't big numbers to everybody out there, but nigga, I've been I've been gone down there ten years at the rap game. I just came back. I dropped Mogul Mob I mean <clears throat> Mogul Mob my first, no I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I dropped the Pay Hustle too recently. You know what I'm saying? First week. No cap, no cap. Fourteen hundred dollars. It ain't a lot, but fourteen hundred dollars first week. At that time, they was bullshitting on streaming my shit and all that type of shit. I had to wait a whole lot, another mm -hmm. while for that shit to come. You know what I'm saying? But first week, $1,400 off of what? Me being out here with my CDs. Mm -hmm. Just off of CDs. Right. Niggas was, niggas was laughing. In right. school, I was well, saying, niggas laughing about the CD. Like, you, you on some old age shit. Like, yeah, but I'm bringing the bag back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My biggest motto is I always come back with more than you left with. Right, you know what right. I'm saying? And I'm always bringing something extra back to the crib. You know what I'm talking about? So with them CDs, and now that motherfuckers don't fuck with that, I'm giving y'all. Now that motherfuckers don't really fuck with that shit a lot, I know people that'll print that'll print you out a hundred CDs for eighty dollars. You know what I'm saying? You sell each one of them CDs on some true dedication shit. Get out there and push your shit. You sell each one of them CDs for ten bucks. That's my price. Ten bucks. That's eight. That's shit. That's a that's a thousand dollars. And you pay eighty. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about money. Right, it's right. all about money. You know what I'm saying? That money ain't the biggest focus. God is the focus of my life, but I'm just saying. Right, right, right. When it come down to it, and I'm getting out here, and I said, I'm going to fuck with this shit. I got a household full of kids. I got a old lady. All that type of shit. I can't be out here bullshitting no more. I never been a bullshit nigga, but if I'm going to step back in this rap game, I'm going to be for real about this shit. You know what I'm saying? And the numbers adding up for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now I got the streaming shit going. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see how that shit is to look, but. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, they, they, I, I know on the stream. Right I know, I know on the streaming, uh, on the streaming right now. I know they raise, raise up, uh, raise up how much all the artists getting paid. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's a, that's a good thing right now. You know what I'm saying? So that it's, yeah, it's a little it's, good. It's trending where it, where it should be. I mean, you know, it, it's all about it, what works for you, of course. You know, because some people. You know what I'm saying? Some people right now, like you said, go out there right now. I know if you want to, you go out there right now. Say every city you got in your trunk, you know, and it and it. You know, some people selling nigga air, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But at, and then it's other people that, you know, their strength might be online and technology. But one thing I always wanted to to kind of put out there too is like, you know, for like all the OGs that was out there on the block selling their CDs and shit. I'm like, it ain't always easier just because it's easier access. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. think about it, you got you out there on that on that block nine times out of ten. You was the only artist, maybe somebody else, and that might be your homeboy that was out there and y'all put, you know what I'm saying, trying to trying to sell your CDs. Think about it, nigga, if there's a hundred artists on that block with you trying to, nigga, that, that shit would be, you know what I'm saying, way harder to get that type of money. Then you're going to have clash and you, you fighting for attention, and that's what technology did. It made it easier access, so now you got more people on your block. <laughs> so even though it's easier for you to put your, your music out there on your own, now you gotta find a way to keep the attention of everybody. You gotta step out in front of everybody, you know. So it's, it's it just depends. It depends on where your strengths are. You just gotta be aware of it. Yeah, you said a big thing there too. You said uh, attention. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like I'm on all platforms itself for that TikTok. You know what I'm saying? I don't see you. I don't see you every day on there trying to do dances or. or but, but, but you don't have to day. though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just, that's the thing too. You don't have to. So that's the thing I started learning about business. Uh -huh. Say a lot of us, you know, we be trying to run our own pages when we ain't got to run our own pages. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of things, you know, it's a lot of influences that you, you know, you can get and tap into. It's like, it's a lot of resources as an artist. Like, I didn't even know that you can get, as an artist, just being an artist, you can get a grant. 
You know what I'm saying? They give grants out all the time just for you being an artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and like, it's like, for artists, you know, like, or as a business, you got to really tap in and see what what you can do as a business because it's more than, like, rapping. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, just having a CD out. Like, man, that CD might, you might put a whole CD, a project out and that motherfucker might be good for a movie. You know, it might be good for some on Netflix, for some yeah. of these indie films. And since we tapped into that, <laughs> let me know what you this in. <laughs> real nigga shit, man. Yeah. Nah, nah, finish, you know what I'm saying? Say, you know what I'm saying? Did a show a couple, what, two, three weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? Boat party. And uh, we did our thing, you know what I'm saying? I I was like, you know, damn, man, maybe this shit could have been better or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you listen to the video on my page, Tato's Vision on Instagram. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm rapping this shit, but you hear people like in the background, like talking like excessively and shit like that. But I press through this shit, kept rapping, kept rapping, you know what I'm saying? And it just so turns out, you know what I'm saying, that it was this lady recording me the whole time. And as we about to leave, she was like, I want you to take part in uh, this movie we got. We're gonna do a part two, we just did a movie, uh, part one. You know what I'm saying? It's called Bid for Love on BT Plus. Y'all check that out. You know what I'm saying? She right, they right out the clip. You understand me? You know what I'm saying? But, <clears throat> and just like that. Right. No, I don't like, cause I mean, come from where I come from in the past with this music shit, people tell you shit all the time. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of false shit, man, but. What was like coming up for you in the music, man? Man, it was, it was, it was hard. Right. But it was, I ain't know nothing about hard though. I just knew, Get it done, get it done, get it done. You know what I'm saying? Cause my first time, like I say, going back to the tapes and shit, when I first started recording, I remember I went to, to school one day and I was like, you know, nigga rapping, check me out. You know what I'm saying? Right. And ah, you rap, you know, that type of right, shit. Right, right. And to go from there to now, whether niggas love it or not, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm that nigga when it comes to music right. and that right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? Square business, like on some independent. Look, it's like, look, this is what you do. Do this right here. We'll, we'll just watch what we do. And nigga, like, make that shit happen from the ground up with my niggas. You know what I'm saying? So, who was, how was guiding you through the process coming up through the music? Like, who was your mentor? Who was your manager? Who was your who was teaching you? Like, this is what you're doing. It. So you just learned everything going in by trial and trial. I have it. Yeah. When I did, I sit and watch BT. I watched the bosses on BT. Niggas with their own labels or the artists that's at the top. I watch them. I see how they move. I check out how they do their business. Mm -hmm. All that type of shit. And I applied that to what I had going on right. on a smaller scale. Right. And it worked. Right. It worked. She just got fucked up at the end of that. Right. But you know. So what's some things you wouldn't wish you wouldn't did differently? You know what I'm saying? Coming up in the music. Took advice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause like, <laughs> like real shit though. Right. Oh, I, I was a young that. nigga. Like, <laughs> like, I was a young nigga, and yeah. like, I'm doing this shit by myself. I'm always, I'm, I've never been like conceited or, or stuck up, cocky ass nigga like that. But I listen to what you say, and then, you know. But at the same time, when I get game, a lot of time from older people, I'm already on it, and they don't know it. Right. But right. I just show respect, like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm already on it. Right. Right. It was, it was, it was some shit. That I could have took in. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit that I'm doing now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We had a, I had a manager tell me about this scan shit. You scan this and it'll pop up on their phone way before this shit happened now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This shit's happening now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just a whole bunch right, of shit. I just did. I just did. The future was there. Right, we, we, we were young. Yeah. You got girls at the show, shit like that. Shit, right, right. Just, shit, lifting it up. So, what it was like performing, man? What were you performing at? Oh, man. <laughs> I can't name a spot in Dallas that I didn't perform. Okay. Me and my crew at that time, man. Okay. But heavily, uh, a lot of shows, like I say, was at Rag Daddy's. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. yes, yeah, yes, uh -huh. sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we did the one in, in, in Arlington. Arlington, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The what ice ball downtown. It was, it, was, it was crazy. Right. It was everywhere. Fort Worth. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the funk. Yeah, yeah. Funk, yeah, funk time got some nice venues. You know what I'm saying? Funk time. Hey, 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 hey. They solid too. Nice. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My last show, them gangsters. And yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. All the time, you especially them SA. Yeah, them SA's too. Yeah. Them SA's being there like a motherfucker deep in the bitch. Like, for real. Shout out to the Butterbirth. You know what I'm saying? Butterbirth. That's where my old man from. You know what I'm saying? All right. Nah, really, man. So, man, like, okay, so. Like, 
what would you do different? You know what I'm saying? In the music today, you know what I'm saying? With all the new stuff going on, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, cause like a lot of artists I come across, uh, uh, encounter with, you know, they have ass cap, they have being mine and stuff like that, but they don't use it. Yeah, that shit, that shit, yeah. But they don't even use it. That's what shit y'all talk about too. Uh, what? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Just that, uh, 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 no, to, to drop game on that shit. No, no, no. Like I was just capping being my Right, shit. right, right. Because yeah. a lot of people don't even use it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I still got partners, you know what I'm saying, and stuff like that. Nigga, they, nigga, they done signed up. You know what I'm saying? I still had a partner to sign up back in the day when he had to mail the shit in. They gave us the cards. You know what I'm saying? They gave us the cards and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, um,. The motherfucker ain't even use it. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't even know how to do split sheets. Nigga ain't know how to upload it. Nigga didn't know shit about, you know, copywriting the music. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or even getting the uh, the publishing from the music. That's like, nigga, that shit, you know, like, but like I tell artists, you know what I'm saying? Like, today, you know, like, with all this, this, this technology, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can have your music everywhere, but they just quick to upload it, you know, without even registering that music. It, so what would you do differently now today? You know what I'm saying? In this in this social world. In the social world, what I do like as far as that, you know what I'm saying? Your copyrights and all that, we took care of that business. Oh, we really? did that. You know what I'm saying? But really, I'm telling you, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be too much of nothing. I would do different, bro. Because like I swear to God, like I really laid the blueprint for a lot that I see going on right now. Mm -hmm. But I can't be that for that. Everybody, but people know. People right. know what's up from where I'm from. Right. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> what I do different is shit. Nigga, keep pressing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, read it up. Keep pressing. Uh, what do you want out of music? What I want out of music? Yeah, what Man, is it? What I just is want it? my voice to be heard. Right. I don't, look, let me get. Let me let y'all know this. I really don't give a fuck about fame. Money, none of that whole ass shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't whole ass. It's a real ass shit, man. Let me do that. Let me do that. This shit is the property. I'm going to say that's the person who's got us home. Yeah, we up in this bitch. We gon' take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We up in this bitch. But I'm good. Right. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I just want my voice to be heard. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I connect to a lot of people with my type of music that I do. And that's the reason that I'm back in this now. You know what I'm saying? Because of big though. You know what I'm saying? I still be on the track. So, so what you so, so what you got brewing up now? You know what I'm saying? Because I see right now you really prominent on what you got now. I see your page. You can jump in, you perform and everything. So yeah. what you so what you tied into right now? Man, right now we just taking it day for day. Man, you got to play for us. It makes mm -hmm. sense. Hell yeah, we out. And when I say sense, it ain't got to be about money. Cause you, right. you go out, you can meet some solid motherfuckers and make some solid ass connections. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It ain't about no money. I know I ain't on no level to make no money right now. You know what I'm saying? Cause half shit, three fourths of you motherfucker probably don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? But y'all fist to know me. Square business. You know what I'm saying? Nah, for real. That's what you're here for today. You know what I'm saying? To get it on out there. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Who you been doing? Who been doing your visuals and stuff? Who you link with on the visuals and who be who be doing your beats? Man, well, as far as the visuals, you know what I'm saying? The first video I'm dropping off this new project is called Sassy Bitch, and that bitch go hard. You know what I'm okay. saying? I took a, a sample from that Rodney O. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everlasting bass and it, that bitch been jumping. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, he okay. doing that one. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Nobiega. Also, uh, Nobiega. Yeah, that's okay. my brother. Okay, like, for real. You talking about Nori? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. What you say? What you say? Alright. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That one nigga I'm saying. That nigga say drink trips, nigga. Nah, that's an essay, man. Okay, okay. Got the hood right in the clip. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nobiega, no, no, man. Okay. Hell yeah. Beats was came from him, you know what I'm saying? Ghetto House Music. Uh, I fuck with Ramon Inc., you know what I'm saying? <coughs> fuck with my nigga Floyd, you know, just, it's just, it's, it's, yeah, it's a few people on this bitch, man. It's crap, isn't it? Man, how you gonna go with Sire? How you gonna go with Sire? You know man, I, I had no choice. I was kind of born into the shit. We, yeah. we cousins. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 because my boy, my boy got that boy, so he got that, man. He, I, I call that nigga like Luca, Luca Dallas. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that nigga Luca Dallas, fool. Nah, for real. Shit, I said they heard nigga first, nigga on Lit Podcast, uh -huh. nigga. My nigga saw here Luca Dallas. Nigga, nigga been like this since we were high school, nigga. I said, I said that nigga ain't never stopped too. That nigga nah. kept fat. 
Chris, nah, for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he always stayed on top of his business. And that's something that motivates me as well. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I talk about what get me into the game and shit, man. It's my cousin right there. Yeah. My oh, cousin okay. Chris. Hold on. My cousin ain't no bullshit. He <laughs> got that he got that shit coming, nigga. Yeah, for yeah, real. Yeah, he yeah, always know, nigga. I'm one of his biggest fans, man. man for say, real. Yeah, he say. Keep folks always tell my ass like, man, you got it, fam. You got it, you got it. Woo woo. So in the woo. And in the mix. So you got any like goals, any like two year plans, five year plans, you got anything structured, what you got going on? Hell yeah. Uh as far as goals, like right now this is like the intro like I don't been in this shit, mm-hmm. but it's like the reintroductory, you know what I'm saying? So it's an all new introductory right. hell, you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh let people get familiar with me, like this project I just dropped the pay us two, you know what I'm saying? Then you understand what a nigga been through. You know what I'm saying? Last few years of his life, you know what I'm saying? I went from like the last four years to present uh, about my life and shit I've been going through. You know what I'm saying? I lost my mom, you know what I'm saying? Just a whole bunch of shit been going on, you know what I'm saying? And, um, it was, thank you. It was just the reintroductory, let y'all know why y'all probably ain't heard from me in a while. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And, uh, but, Shit, I can't wait to drop my next one, man. It's called The Influence. Man, y'all, y'all make sure y'all go stream I'm on my all shit platform. on that one. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all go stream on all platforms. Man, like, what, like, what are some of your biggest accomplishments or goals that you done tackled that you that you proud of? Man, my biggest accomplishment, which is awesome, real shit, bro, is being a stand-up father. I swear to God. Oh, really? Like, I do that. Oh, really? <laughs> like, nah, I do nah, that, man. Up. Like, nah, I'm, I'm, some, I'm some real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna lie. I got... I got four biological, my girl got two, you know what I'm saying? Then my six. Right. You know, Already. for real. Right. And you know what I mean? And um, <clears throat> I like just thinking you. about when I was younger, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, supposed to, I'm really supposed to have like 10 them kids, man. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. But at the time, like, I'm just fast paced in motion and shit like that. I ain't never been a flower ass nigga, but they looked at my lifestyle and shit like that. And I looked at their lifestyle, they be in motion too, you know, with the women that they got pregnant by me. You know what I'm saying? And they just thought it was like the best move for them not to have it type shit. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's cool. But now, you know what I'm saying? Every once in a right. blue moon, I be getting them, them calls and shit. Like, <laughs> I wish I would have kept it because I right. see how you use with your kids. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's, that's why I go ahead and give it. That's the pay hustle to me. I will. <laughs> so, now, what do, you, what, 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 what do you listen to besides rap? What else you get in there? Oh, yeah, the biggest thing besides rap, like, just, you know, just being on the truck, 40% of the time, I'm going to listen to the country. Country? It? I ain't going to lie. Country? Yeah, them man. stories crazy. Man, but say. But it's just like what we're doing. Wait, 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 Hey, hey, hey. you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit. Now, I'm glad that you said that. I'm glad that you said that country, you know what I'm saying? But the same thing, you just look. No, it ain't the same thing. No, nigga. No, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That country. That country some good music, don't get me wrong, uh-huh. you know what I'm saying? But they be going overboard on some shit, nigga. They be talking about nigga, I'm talking about murdering they bitch, you know what I'm saying, hanging up, you know what I'm saying? Oh they be shit, talking I about heard that, that, that one. That, that, nah, yeah, you have. <laughs> nigga, they be talking about nigga, oh, no, they no, break me. Nigga, they be saying, yeah, nigga, 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 they talking about nigga, fuck, uh, I, what's that one nigga song that's talking about, I hate you, bitch, you know, uh, fuck your dog, fuck your house, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you, bitch. What? You broke my heart. You ain't heard that hoe. <laughs> fuck you. You say fuck your car and fuck your dog. <laughs> you know, they're, a bit, they're a little bit intricate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't go that on deep end with shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, fuck you over your mama too. You know what I'm saying? But nah, we you don't my baby way. Like, you and your mama. <laughs> That yeah, country be going too old oh boy, man. That country that be raw, man. They ain't be getting all the biggest awards too, man. I'm talking it's, about that. It's some beautiful country. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta tap in, man. I gotta yeah. hear that shit. Yeah, right man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it for you. Watch. You gonna be like, you gonna be like, what? Y'all yeah, like, yeah. I said I can play you some throw country music, man. I can play you the country music, nigga. They got the motherfucking Confederate flags in there. Talking about get that nigga. No, no, for real. <laughs> I met a white hey. lady some weeks ago and we was talking about music. We started talking about music and she was saying that. She said, man, I got in an Uber car and she said, I, I couldn't take it. I couldn't give him five stars. I had to ask him to turn the music off. She said he was, a big, he was in a big old truck. He had the two Confederate flags on his truck and What's say the country mean? music was talking about nigga this and hanging nigga and this man, and she man, was like, man. I felt so uncomfortable. Say, I said, baby, come right here. <laughs> say, man, you got to tune in and say, 
<laughs> when you gotta tune in when you listen to that music, that, that country music, cause they, yeah. they, be, they be shooting subliminal. Yeah, it be so yeah, and they be, you know what I'm saying? They be going hard. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? You be sitting there like just jamming with them in the, in the Central Club, you know what I'm saying? You know, you be like, yeah, yeah, they sitting there talking, like, look at that nigga. Like, yeah, that nigga, that nigga don't even know we talking about that nigga. Like, yeah, get on, nigga. Nigga, you look good out there, nigga. <laughs> Oh Disclaimer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting over here like, thanks for the <laughs> You two ain't gonna cut this chick. <laughs> you two ain't gonna well, cut this chick. I'm gonna put some bleeps on that video. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put some bleeps on that video. It's just what we see. I mean, they censoring <laughs> everything now. What you do? They even censor the rap music. Now you gotta be careful what you say. You know, the government and I already passed it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Whatever you say. But then they say in some states though they uh they voted New York, against it. New York just passed a law protecting yeah. right. rap artists right. from being well, I mean, from them using that music for that. Say man, because sometimes it's real life and sometimes you telling a story. Yeah. You, yeah. Tell, you know. But let me just say something. If we out here, we out here. We know what's up. Rather it's the truth. Rather it's a story. You know how to put the shit and put a puns and puzzle to it and spin it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My thing don't is. Don't be. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't know the two. You know what you're doing, man. Ain't nobody going to be able to connect them dots. My man, <laughs> man, man. Hey, Meats. I'm sorry. But my man, right now. I'm not going to put this. I'm not going to put this. I'm not going to put this. But these niggas, these niggas going around and telling them the whole day. I'm talking about. They already know the law got the evidence, most of the evidence to the murder. And they going around rapping the whole song, the murder case on the song, telling everything step by step. Nigga went up in this house, in the trap, put so, it in his mouth, blew his back out. So I'm going to say this. So I'm going to say this. We yeah, on Irv, nigga. We be swerving, nigga, on 2020 <laughs> block, nigga. Say they shot, I got this. <laughs> yeah, I shot that nigga, killed that nigga. I ain't snitching. And if you snitching on that nigga, you ain't getting <laughs> So if you got so if you got people that stepped in and watching that shit and just, just sitting at the crib, yeah, just looking at you saying that shit, like like my like my old lady, my baby mama. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> just fucking with you, baby. You know what I'm saying? Watch, it, watch, it, watch it every move like that. You know what I'm saying? Watching every move right there. You don't think motherfuckers that's getting paid for that is just really tapped in? Nigga, what? Man. They watching what you say, bro. Man. Watch what you say, man. You know what I'm saying? What's the way you can what put you it to where they gotta be like that? You know what I'm saying? I'm not advocating it, but I'm just saying be smarter, bro. I mean, that shit was just saying, like, when that nigga, you know, shot Young Dolph. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga just ran off to Chicago and made a rap video. Like... Yeah. That's crazy. Like I be like I be sometimes I be wanna know what go through people's head, you know what I'm saying? Like It's uh, just it's just a crazy. It's, it's a it's a like crazy nigga, we, world, back then we were worried about getting caught, nigga. Like nigga, like, <laughs> like, like, really like nigga, like nigga, I ain't trying to get caught, nigga. What the <laughs> fuck, nigga? Why the fuck are you even talking, nigga? <laughs> that was a big pain right there to see that nigga fall. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, nah, that I shit hurt. Dog. I fuck with dog say that shit hurt. That shit yeah. hurt to see a player ass nigga get took out like that. Yeah. But at the same time, knowing what we got here in Dallas, shit that be going on, you never know the backstory. You never know everything that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it hurt. Right. It hurt the culture hard. Right. right. You know, I ain't gonna lie, man. You know what I'm saying? I just I don't know. a lot of a lot of shit hurt the culture. Pac death hurt the culture. Nipsey death hurt the culture. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Shit, even Aaliyah. You know what I'm saying? Leah Def hurt the culture. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of nigga shit. Whitney even hurt the culture. Left nigga, eye. Like left eye. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, but, it just, but now it's rapid. Now, now you did that. Now it's just back to back. Now you mo three nigga Steve Shrugs. You nigga, you got even though Steve Shrugs didn't die by murder, but still you know. Shut out my brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like. God damn, you know it's like nigga, the young dog. You know, know murder. That's that's the sad part. God damn. That's huh? the saddest part, the ones that are dying by murder, because it's like, why are we sitting over here taking each other out? Like, it just, you know me, I go down the rabbit hole on that, but it's like, man, we we doing some dumb stuff <laughs> as a culture. That one, like, I always, I always you know, stay on point, but after that one, I was just like, man, they take the player nigga out. You know, these niggas ain't got it. You know now, do, now, now, let, me ask, let me ask you a question. Now, <laughs> I'm at, okay, I, I know, I know I'm, I'm going over time, so I don't give a fuck. So, <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I like the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Shit, conversation real nation. Now, now, do, like, like, 
I can look at you, I can say, yeah, yeah, you my brother, you know what I'm saying? I can say, because you know, skin, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, do we actually got something against each other? Yeah, we've been pushing the, we've been, I ain't trying to get uh, Islamic Muslim on you right, or right, nothing right. like that, but I mean, <laughs> the fact is a fact. Right. We've been pushed in the corner. We're the most powerful people, but it's a mind thing. It's right. a mind thing. Trust right. me, we've been beat and held back for so long, so now we feel like we got to prove. I was just watching some shit the other day, like, uh, on YouTube or some shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to buy this, to buy this, or f to feel this way. It ain't got no motherfucking money in the bank type shit. But it's to feel good at the time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Look, if we totally sacrifice that moment, put our foot down, get this money, you know what I'm saying? And really feel the freedom of this shit. They ain't going to give us shit. They ain't got to give us shit. It's about God. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? They ain't got to give us a goddamn thing. We already got it. Mm -hmm. But we can't be out here acting like no fools. We can't be doing this whole dumb ass shit. We be doing for real. I love my people. Mm -hmm. Strong shit. The world is embraced by us. You know what I'm saying? The world swagger jacking us every motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? All the way to Japan. So, right? The most hated <laughs> race of people, but you know, we doing all their jobs for them. Yeah. They ain't got to yeah. do, do much no more. Yeah, in battle, shit. Yeah, really, shit. Yeah. I, I was at Oak. That's what I'm saying. I was at Oak Cliff going to school with Johnny Lee Brown. You know what I'm talking about. And once, once I got to that point where my brother's like, shit, we fit got the hood. He moved us to some, some nice shit. You know what I'm talking about. But when that happened, I had to go to Wasa Hatch, and I'm in school now. Now it's it's black kids, but it's mostly. White kids mm -hmm. and all that type of shit. I'm in the classroom nervous. I had a strong, I had a strong-minded teacher at Johnny Bryan in sixth grade, in the fourth grade. Miss Burnside. She always taught us like black, black power type shit. Really, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, like for real though, she taught us about ourselves, and uh, that's why she was just so hard on us, made us work how we work. And I got over there, and I'm like, shit, my grades better than hers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's. <clears throat> it's a difference because their parents are teaching them about education. You got to do this. They drilling into them every motherfucking day. You know what I'm saying? Out here, we just, we no no disclaimer to our, our parents. They work hard. They hard yeah, working yeah. people. But we don't, we, don't we, ain't, we ain't got the leisure to preach all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because mama got to go take care of this beat. Mama got to work, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? I'm just thinking for me. Nah, that's you know what I'm saying? I have most a father. People so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. She got to step I mean, they up They slave up to the bone, shit. So we ain't got time to just do it like this. So we be focusing. We get out there and focus on a whole other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of that, it's a viral post right now on this topic mm -hmm. where uh, this lady had posted, a uh, black lady had I guess it was TikTok or something, whatever. And she made a post and she was like, <clears throat> she was saying black parents, you know, I'm finna summarize on it. She was saying black parents like, hey, you preach for your kids to go to school, you know what I'm saying? Get the jobs, move out and all this kind of stuff, but you didn't save up no money for them. You know, so it sparked this real big debate because right. half of the people was like, yeah, she right. And then half of the people like, well, the positions we were put in, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. I mean, what do you what do you think about that? Cause I'm a, I'm I'm on the fence. I feel like um, you know, yeah. she's right. She's not wrong, and the people not, who are saying much. we in a bad position are right too. It's not too much of what I think. That's a fact. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah. We can only do what we can do. You know what I'm saying? But when you think about when you think about the stuff that we be on as a culture, right? Cause you say it was different what their parents drill into them. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, you know. We talk about that a lot, being taken out of the hood early. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I, I know I'm her, but mm -hmm. I ain't her type mm -hmm. shit. You know what I'm saying? So for my mama, it wasn't about, you know what I'm saying, the hottest Jordans on your feet and making sure you fly. Exactly. Think of all the money, think of all the money that our black parents spend on that, making sure your kids look fly yep. and feel like, and that, it, pushing that ego into you. Just think about every time that $120 spent on them Jordans was put, half of that was put in a savings account. You know, to them, you know what I'm saying? So part of it, I get it. We put in that situation, of course. Yeah. And the other part of it is like, now nah, we gotta take that accountability somewhere. Yeah, life just yeah. so. I mean, it's, it's fast. Life is life it's fast. Is, it's you know life what I'm saying? Is fast. It's like, like because, we be thinking like day for day. We we like nah. sometimes we don't be like about the future or two yeah. days down and shit like that. Man, we gotta make it today. Nah, nah every, like black folks, like we 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 are very like we don't want to say it, but we are 
more passionate, sensitive, and dreamy creatures. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we we have visions, we have goals, you know, and we feel like we be stuck in that zone when we ain't reached our accomplishments. You know what I'm saying? So we be, you know, damn near, I don't want to say it, sometimes be one track minded because we still trying to get there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we try to make sure that in between that time, we got we got damn near close to, to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. shit, I, I ain't mind to go spend, go drop off, you know what I'm saying, 4000 for a necklace or shit, tw mm -hmm. you know, for a yeah. ring or whatever and shit. Make mm -hmm. sure, you know what I'm saying, I got the newest shoes and all this, you know what I'm saying, when I step out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To, and, but but in the back of our mind, we still had that dream that them, them aspirations we trying to get there. Yeah, you know. And, and meantime, in between time, you always got to remember too, my brother, man. It's like thanking God for where you at, thanking mm -hmm. God for where you at, yeah. what you got. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like on some real shit. I had to, I had to talk to my partner and shit. You know what I'm saying? He had got to a car wreck. You know what I'm saying? He usually got his kids with him in the wreck. I mean, in the in the car. And he didn't have him with him that day. Right. If they was with him, they would have been gone. You know what I'm saying? Like square business. But <clears throat> I said, man, you got to think about it, bro. Like, we'll wake up and think about the bad shit that happened to us. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But on the flip side, what if we woke up, you know what I'm saying? And the good that happens in our life is reversed. You know what I'm saying? Some type of shit like... You know what I'm saying? We don't count the blessings that we see every day of what could have been. See, mm -hmm. we don't see that until the shit happened. Then we mm -hmm. be fucked up about it. Right. But you got to think about all the shit and all the days you go through without unnecessary bullshit going on in your life. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got to be thankful for that shit too. You know what I'm saying? And I take every L as a lesson. I ain't lying. It's something that come out of it every right. time. Right. Every time. Right. Yeah, we, we, I, and I think we still in that, 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 that zone. Like, we know that this is ours. And like damn, we still here working for what's ours. You know what I'm saying? We know we feel it. We still in that mind frame, like shit. No matter how we look at, I'm just gonna say it on my platform: white people, pink people. You know what I'm saying? You know whatever, and, and you know, and even Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Because we know, you know, if they all flock together, even though Mexicans got their own thing going on, but it's just truth be told. You know what I'm saying? You know like. They have, they have the majestic, they have everything. They have all the land, they have everything. We know it's like, it's ours, you know? Yeah. And we still like, shit, hell, nigga, that night, like, nigga, we ain't not finna work for that, nigga, that's ours. You know what I'm saying? Give us our shit and go do it. Go back, you know what I'm saying? You want us to do this? You want us to pull ourselves up by the bootstraps? You making our women feel like they, uh, like they, uh, they lesser than, you know what I'm saying? Than, than what, uh, the beings that they are, you know what I'm saying? You make the man feel like they lesser than what they are. They feel like, you feel like you gotta strive for this and you dangle this. Oh, I give this nigga this set of keys like her, so this nigga better than you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I give this female in this job. Oh, yeah, but she better than you. Then the male, like, you you dating her. You think, oh, she making more money than you. But obviously, you know what I'm saying? When you look at statistics, males making more money than the female. You know what I'm saying? Even black males. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though she is working at Microsoft, nigga, you still making more money than she is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's like... <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? So you think, but you think just because she's spending every day, but you think because she's spending every day, you like, damn, nigga, where all this money coming from? But like, damn, you don't realize that shit. Her shit cheaper than your shit. Nigga, your pants cost almost $200. Nigga, she can get, nigga, five, six, seven pants, nigga, for $200, nigga. You know what I'm saying? She can get four or five pants of shoes, nigga, for what you just spent for your shirt and your pants. You know what I'm saying? So we looking, so that's why we looking like shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why niggas come out broke in the rap game. Nigga, go to Gucci, <laughs> nigga, spend $60,000 and come out with two bags. <laughs> so, I'll go to Walmart and, 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 and Big T and, and be way flyer than that. For real. Don't, don't play with me. For real, don't, don't play. <laughs> we just like, you know what I'm saying? We act we had like, we had like, like, we got to put a a bigger value on everything, and yet we all. Then that's why I said we lost it. So that's why we. That's why I say I go back to what I'm saying. It's like we got a natural hate against each other for no reason. You know what I'm saying? When we step out, everything like, oh man, that nigga dress better than me. It's just oh nigga, you can't rap. Mm -hmm. Oh nigga, it, 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 but it's the wrong type of competition. You know what I'm saying? See, it's, it's, be, a, it's, it's the wrong to, type of competition. It's supposed to be instead of competition, it's supposed to be a compliment. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right. I said you know there anything. You go. Hey, yeah. Man, you got me. You, know, you know, maybe step it up. Step maybe step it up. Right. You know right. What right. Saying? Instead, like, right. Man, this nigga, man, you know. What right. Saying? Then like, nigga ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? About or then when I you step out, and the first thing I write on my song. This nigga ain't, you know, like, damn, you know, yeah. like, I ain't never say this white boy and shit, nigga, fuck this, fuck this, fuck this, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, for real, like, damn, like, I got a complex.
best against my own nigga. And I'm like, that's what my yeah. podcast for. Like, I'm trying to change the narrative. Like, God damn, my yeah, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah. my nigga, we yeah, already seen. It's hood. been, it's been. Wrap up, ready to nah. go, but shoot. It, it, we it already uh, protesting where it, at. But it been proof in the pudding. <laughs> Every time we come together. That's when they attack us. No motherfucker scared. Yeah. And then we got yeah. everything. Yeah. We, but we, but for some reason we just would be like either it's what we tired or, or what, I don't know. It's just like niggas like is it easier to fight our own because we know we know shit like damn. Hey, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. Oh, flex, it's Say, I'm not right. like I say. I ain't trying to promote that. I'm look. Yeah. I thought the shit was about to go down when that nigga was downtown on that roof oh. shooting the motherfucking cops. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I had it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. I'm like, ooh, so I'm glad you brought that up. up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And that's you know kinda what, what I was saying? talking about. You know, I don't, you know, nobody want no violence. You don't want you to be out here killing folks. But y'all still But it's like it's gonna though. be hard out right. So yeah. so my thing is like, it's one thing to just go out senselessly killing. It's another thing when you defending yourself. So it's like niggas a uh, wake up in the street just just cause that nigga cause you don't like that nigga and you ready to just nigga you just boom 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 nigga just down like he nothing like let he me don't ask, mean nothing so to is you. it wrong okay so we know this this is history you can't mm -hmm. you can't you, we can't erase history yeah. you can't you oh, one thing you can't do you can't erase history you can try to hide it they try you can try to they cover try it up but you can't erase history yeah. like we know like this is prime example we know the Mexicans came over here white folks came over here they came over here with guns. Mm -hmm. They came over here, they plitted this motherfucker. They pow, <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> nigga. And then they came out here with a sheet of paper, nigga, here, sign this, nigga. Let me marry your wife, you nigga. Okay, all right, I'm king of the land. But like, it's like, when we come forth, are we aggressive? What are you doing? Put the guns down. The violence, it's like, it's like it's a double standard too. It's like a double-edged sword on yeah. everything. And I want to talk about that because just like that, you got to look at all these motherfucking white people, you know what I'm saying, that went out there to the White House and they up there bombarding that bitch. They done got in the motherfucker, all that type of shit, bro. Yeah. They would have earned us out. paint on their face, nigga. They would have earned us out, And the Indian, out, and the nigga ain't like an Indian thing on his head. Sitting in the chair. Yeah. 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 They letting these niggas in. Yeah. But it's that. You know, it's like that, and then, and at the same time too, it's yeah. a double-edged sword because they be like, we'll be on some double-edged, I mean, some double, some double standards type shit. Because Sorry. let's say, let's say some shit like, okay, I'm just keeping it real. I just want to get opinions. You know what I'm saying? Like they got the websites, black meets black. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Some shit that's just pro black, black all the time. Black, you know what I'm saying? Bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, 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 now. If they, if they was to do that shit, white, white uh, planet, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Right. Uh, we go crazy. Cancel time. Mexican, you know what I'm saying? Mexican, um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I take the good with the bad because they be doing some real fucked up ass shit, though. It's not what you know we can do because they keep giving it to us. It's not uh -huh. us. It's not us. You look yeah. how hard they did. What's name when he tried to go get uh, his spot and buy uh, Viacom and shit? Try to get his own airwave and uh, what's uh, oh the, the, he was comedian Brian something I forgot. Oh, his name. I know. Uh, 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 that on the channels. He's like yeah. Uh -huh. first, like like it's like like think about it. Like how they. Yeah. I mean look how they did Bill Cosby. It's not like, I mean, like they they they, just, they brought up a a date a, a date rape case on Bill Cosby man. You know what I'm saying? How can you? Man, 50 years? 50 years ago, nigga, you went back, nigga, and a uh, roofie, nigga? This nigga 90 years old, yeah, but like that. Even but Kel. it's cool. But, but, but they Kel, do. But even they, and then but I, they I, do like, hey, I, I love my nigga Boosie. I'm gonna let you say something, but I love my nigga Boosie. Yeah, they cancel my nigga on him. They cancel my nigga Boosie. They had my nigga Boosie really? come back and apologize. You know what I'm saying? What? Boosie wanted his page back, you know what I'm saying? Like Boosie, like like, but Boosie, you know, started on his other page, trying to cancel again. So Boosie, you know, you know, Boosie go, he gonna uh, voice his opinion, like, oh like you know God. what I'm saying, man, you know, damn nigga, y'all just canceling me on everything, goddamn nigga, y'all ain't gotta do me like this, but it's like shit. You see how they try to do it? Soon when a nigga stand up for something, or when a when a nigga voice his opinion, when 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 a man being a man. Cause that's another thing I want to talk about because they act like you can't be a man, it's a crime to be a man. You know what I'm saying? It's a crime to be a real man. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, you know, it's like they ban you. Did you hear Boosie? On oh, which one? 
when he when he said he gonna go to jail and beat up any fucking white boy he see. Yeah, yeah, he said, yeah, he yeah that boy that put that boy in handcuff boots. He say I'm gonna beat up they every white boy up in there. As soon as I walk in, boots. nigga, I'm just spraying off on a nigga. They hate crime boots. Yeah, why they cancel them. Mm-hmm. Right. Like if a white motherfucker say they finna go and beat up any black right. man, see that's gonna be right. a whole problem. Nah, nah, he said exactly what he supposed to say. White boy. If I see a white boy, that's why I say. That's why I say. See they be see they be thinking Boosie crazy. Nah, Boosie ain't crazy. He knew exactly. And then came right back on Vlad and said, "Talk to to the white boy. Yeah, I gonna knock out every white boy." <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Shit, square business. Cause yeah. we know shit. We, we, man, we know we, we know we got some boys to try to, you know, they cool, you know, whatever what. But now, nah, but now, nah, now nah, nigga, y'all niggas benefit off of everything. Yeah. Every off our whole land, off our whole system, yeah. a whole way of life, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like it's it, it that's why a lot of things change. And nigga, like nigga, niggas talking about we in a recession. Nigga, I can't say we in a recession, nigga. We've been in a recession since Obama. Then we went in the depression, then a the digression, then a the, Succession, <laughs> then the uh, obsession, then the hot damn. never left oppression. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna love that shit, nigga. What was that? They said regression. What was that? All of them niggas said yeah. anything was session in that right. motherfucker. We yeah, went through anything it. Anything was session, hey, live niggas, we flourish. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, you know what I'm saying? Though. So no matter how poor, even with the gas, oh, I still, niggas was still out. Nigga, I'm talking about gas, five dollars. Nigga, still shit, we going. Yeah. yeah. Cause yeah. I mean, everything Strong that the world it. is quote unquote going through. The only reason it's big news is because it's people that's going through it that ain't used to it. We don't be having no gas money no way. We already know how yeah, it goes. Know. We already know how to stretch the food out. We already know. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we already know how much it's going to take us to get here and there. Who made no money in the pandemic? We made more money in the pandemic. We did. Yeah. We we made more money in the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I did. That's sure. Everybody did. We thought we was rich. Nigga, we had grapes on the damn island and everything. Nigga, shit. That was I don't know why they behave because I like to make. <laughs> you know, black folks keep their grapes in the damn refrigerator. Right you know, we keep it in the refrigerator in the, in the, in the slide box. You know what I'm saying? Shit, goddamn it. I believe you. 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 <laughs> Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Say forget all y'all. Y'all ain't finna do that. Golly, man. So, man. Like, God damn me. So, man, what's your, man, what's your, man, who you, man, look, what you like, sports? You don't fuck with sports, man? I deal with that, man. Only when it get good. You know what I'm ah, saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Die Hard, Die Hard Cowboys fan, Die Hard oh, Mavericks fan. Okay, you know okay, like okay. Damn, it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, we don't watch sports like we really used to. I mean, no, I know. I see that. It's not. I mean, because really. it's not like, I mean, I don't know. Shit, I don't know, man. I got I got niggas that dissect that shit down like uh, first take and shit. Yeah, you know, always had them, yeah. Numbers, all, what they getting paid, all that type of shit, man. I don't even tap in My like dad that. Like I watch it. the game yeah. and shit, nigga. We gonna go for that. It was your top, yeah. top, yeah. top, yeah. top three rappers all the time. Yeah, like I said, man, Pac, Biggie. City, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, Pac, Pac is just the greatest. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, T-Pain catch hell right now about that. Oh, yeah, you catch hell. You catch hell. Yeah, too. T-Pain said something bad about Pac. Talking about Pac. I'm talking about nigga. Yuck mouth got on. I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking about all I seen on YouTube is everybody just shit. Nigga, you got Pac fucked up. Yuck mouth went off on? No, no, no. What's Uh, No, T-Pain. No, I'm saying you said Yuck Mafia got on there. Yeah, Yuck Mafia got on, on did a, a YouTube and oh, told, okay, okay, told okay. T-Pain he was out of his mind. Yeah. Or he talking about... Uh, that's just disrespectful. Yeah. That's you know really disrespectful. disrespectful. You can't not, deny not, it. Not how you put it out like that. You can't deny he it. Say, he he said something about these new niggas, they eat Pac alive. Man, <laughs> man nigga. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. If I'm you not, don't sit down something down. I'm just saying. Come on, man. These niggas out here that go hard. Come on, my nigga. They'll eat. I'm just saying, I'm just looking at... It is what when, it is. When, pop, when, pop when is your kids man. start singing some Pac shit because you just decide, you listen to Pac all your life, but you decide to play it on the playlist in the car and your kids know it and you know you ain't played that shit for them. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. And you looking at that like, where you? I'm talking about shit. Mama, no, kids, that's the kids, they still know Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, nigga, Wiggy. Wiggy, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's about Pac. 
Halloween. Good shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seeing time. Uh, you like, know, shoot. <laughs> nigga, I'm talking about they the trend of records. The buying records come, came yeah. back. The motherfucking kids yeah, buying I'm records. Shit. Yeah. That's yeah, I'm telling you. Shit. I'm talking about niggas, they, nigga, don't, they don't buy records. Niggas buying records. Nigga, they ain't giving a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I need to buy for make me a couple records and gonna put them in Josie or record store and everything. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, hey man, he yeah, said Yeah, uh huh, they bringing it back. They dope. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Yeah. What's your, okay, so you don't like sports, man, so I can't ask you who your three I are. like sports, but okay, I'm not one of them niggas that be like all into the static, the stats and all that. What you, so what you into? What, 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 I mean, so what's, your, so what's your personality? What you into? Man, shit, what I'm into, like I say, like, big, like, I know music. Things, you know I'm doing this music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It should be family, bro. And family. I, I, like, I don't get no rest. I don't, I don't really, I don't really sleep. You <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? I really don't, what you I really do with don't your get family? there. You know what I'm saying? It's just to get up. Every day. Okay, what game you, you be home. playing? Because if your family, if you got the family, I know they like playing games. What games they play? Nah, you should be on that TikTok shit. That TikTok? <laughs> oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Here we go. <laughs> uh, I get on there looking crazy and shit. Right. <laughs> I get on there and shit. I just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me be that. It be that. And shit. They what love, TikTok they challenge y'all need to go? I don't, bro, I swear. You I don't, don't know? Like, I'm just kidding. Like, I'm just kidding. I'm just Daddy, daddy. And, and I get there and try to catch all my gun dancing that shit. I be in the beats. <laughs> yeah, they be having a yeah, good time. He, he did me like that too. He put that mug on the floor. Oh, you know? that was so funny. Doop, doop, doop. That was so funny. <laughs> and next thing you know, shit, I'm like, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck this shit. Nigga, fuck this shit. <laughs> Hey, you gotta be careful though, cause that um I forgot his name, y'all, but it was a real famous actor or whatever. His little kid was doing a TikTok, was in the bathroom taking a selfie, didn't know he done got his daddy all in the shower, all in the background. Nah. Didn't even know. Oh, <laughs> all over the internet. And that one nigga that thought uh, this one fit tripped me out that little the little little girl jumped in the mom's car, car, nigga. <laughs> Nigga, talking about, nigga, I, I, I can tell you, she, she got her phone. She, she like, had her own phone. phone. And that's crazy because all the kids got their own phone. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So she posted up on TikTok, pressed the little button, and she said, Look, I told you I could drive with the kid and put that mug in reverse, nigga, and just took off there. Uh, nigga, look, 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 her mama, look, 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 look. Her mama getting straight cool. I'm talking about super warm, baby. She nigga, her mama jumped that. up in there like this, like. Sideways. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell my whoop nigga and stop the car. Tell my what is you doing? <laughs> Tell my you recording yourself? <laughs> Wait, the kid is loud, man. They loud. Hey, hey, man. You, she gonna be turned up about 10 years. <laughs> I'm talking about personality <laughs> after watching. Because my show was watching too. I'm like, what she fit in the personality out of this world? Yeah. Cute little girl. What's that, it's Man, that's crazy, man. I don't know, man, but that is, that, but generation need a little more funny until we get to see all that funny shit online. Though that shit be hilarious, man. Yeah, yo. Yeah. But yeah, that's what that's what led that's what led into uh, the pay hustle too, man. Just yeah. family, right? Family, family, yeah. family, family, family. So what can they get that pay hustle to it? Oh man, y'all can stream it on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? We got that up. It's official now. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying? Y'all want to hit me up on Facebook? It's Aubrey Tato Tato. You know what I'm saying? You're going to hit me up on Instagram. It's Tato's Vision. Same thing with Snapchat. You know what I mean? And shit, I'll put up on you and drop a CDO. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Business. We got any merch? You know what I'm saying? We got some merch. We got t-shirts. You know what? I was in the room. I ain't bring it, but I got you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got we got a closing line. We got a closing line, me and my manager. You know what I'm saying? Big Meats uh, called Black Arctic. You know what I'm okay. Okay. Yeah, that shit jumping, jumping. All right. Okay. I like that. It got a ring to it. Yeah, black Arctic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like black it. with a cure. Then what you, you what you was sipping on when you came over tonight? Every every day before I get to the crib, <laughs> yeah. my girl be ripping my ass about this shit. I get in front of the crib, man. I give me a, a, a four four pack of these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. Hey, she ain't shit. Hey, don't shut up, man. You from Bud. I know once I go in the crib, them kids are gonna go crazy. I'm not gonna play with their ass about five minutes and then I, 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 I sneak up to the bathroom and lock the door. Yeah, I'm gonna go You know what I'm saying? Hopefully they go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love, that's why I love my black women, man. Yeah. Y'all hustle the house all because I'd rather go to work. 20 hours a day, shit. I ain't lying. Look at that shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no, man. Being a parent, ain't no off days. Nah, ain't no vacation really. time. Ain't no shit. none of that. <laughs> yeah, them kids something else, though. But you gotta love them, though. You That's know what I'm talking about? beautiful thing, though. Man. Nah, for real. So, like, 
what is, you know, because you ain't, cause you don't know, but I ain't gonna ask you no further, your three dollar line, I ain't gonna ask you that reason. Let me see how. You ask me what you want to ask me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, you got the merch coming out, you got all that coming out right now, okay? So, what else do you have in store? Like, you ain't jumping out since you thought about opening up or and then getting into any acting and what, what other kind of roles you think about playing? Uh, in yeah, on the, on the acting shit, I hope we, lo we, we uh, we look up into an acting role to that movie I was telling you about. Right, 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 you know right, right, right. I really want to put my, my nigga Looney in the forefront for that. He got okay. that look for that shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? But get us in motion with that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know? Uh, as far as the truck and shit, shit, you know what I'm saying? We got the dude. Okay, the dude. Fucking flatbed shit. We just do a family business type shit. We already that's started dope. it. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm mm. saying? Yeah. And uh, the music, shit, the music, shit, it's just. Day by day, I'm just enjoying my moment, man. Like I ain't, I ain't like me, like ten years ago. Mm -hmm. It was good to be there and think that, but you know what I'm saying. Like uh, a lot of shit dealing with artists back then, you know, we got fed a whole bunch of bullshit. Right. You know what I'm saying, and being a kid coming up into that, you know, what I'm saying you fed into it, and when it don't happen, you know, you get hurt. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying real nah, shit. Nah, about real it. shit. <clears throat> so I take everything day for day, and I enjoy this new social media shit going on now because my voice can get heard multi-platforms and all that type of shit and uh i got a cbl hey, i got that i got that cbl nigga nah for real nah for real like yeah, so for sure because that's a lot of studying that book they said that book that thick now nah, y'all that's like a, a telephone book y'all playing yeah. but i done seen it like so who you always wanted to work with that you never got a chance to work with locally in the city and outside of the city see dream, dreams came true okay Dreams came true. Uh, as far as in the city, mm -hmm. my idol man, okay. Nick Tuck, my brother. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Scrap business. Yeah, 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 I yeah, yeah. With that boy. Yeah, yeah, Scrap yeah. Business, <laughs> yeah, he's solid. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Tuck, yeah. yeah, yeah. Shout out Big Tuck two times. You know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. And a whole moment at the show the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah, big tuck, man. Like, yeah, hey. Got a video shoot coming up at BGs too. Yeah, got a fuck with that. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, outside the city, man. Woo! I don't know. I really like. I've like, been this shit. Like, I just be styling, bro. Like I ain't trying to be no lyricist ass nigga. I ain't trying to be the hardest rap nigga. I ain't trying to be the hardest trap nigga. None of that shit, bro. I just like talking my shit, popping my shit though. But yeah, I like to fuck with baby on the track. Baby on the track? Yeah. Okay. I like doing the business. Okay. 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 I ain't okay. Gonna lie. okay. All right. Alright, let me step it up. Alright, alright. Alright, so okay. Alright, well, I heard it. Alright. Shit, okay, if you was right now, and we and like in the state, we know we all don't rap battle. But it just just say somebody said, I'm gonna give you one trillion dollars. You know what I'm talking about? And they say you gotta pick three people to go up against the rap battle. Who would you take? Oh, man. Talking about to be against or with you? Against with you. Oh, like your team. Like, uh -huh. oh, okay. Oh, shit. Ooh. But guess what, though? But well, you already included, yeah, so you yeah, can't yeah, include yeah. yourself. And I got to pick three people? <laughs> you got to pick three people. Hell so yeah. go with you. I'm rolling with my niggas, man. I'm rolling with my dogs, man. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I keep up over there. Okay, okay. I'm going to take a lonely loan. We're going to bring them through this bitch. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and shit. Goddamn, who else I'm going to pick? Goddamn, shit. Come on with it. I, you know, it's gonna be yeah, around. I'm gonna let them niggas toss up and see who wanna do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna drag head, young flop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my nigga soldier. So okay. Like, okay. Like, All right. We got different styles, but everybody else on real. Right. I'm gonna have to team some shit. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Nigga be on there, bro. All right. I like that. So if you was in my shoes, I ask this question all the time. Before I get off my podcast, mm -hmm. if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Hmm. <clears throat> the question that I would ask myself would be why now? And what would you why ask now and what for? And what would your answer be? Simple though. It's my family, bro. Yeah. It's my family, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, all this, look, since I came back and I've been dropping shit, like, I appreciate it. 
all the love, but understand, everything comes from my family. My old lady and my kids, you know what I'm saying? I got videos of them in the car and shit, like to this day, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Reciting my words on raps. And it's some fly ass shit though, so kids gonna jump like, if it was some bullshit, like my kids really trendy, like they ain't fucking with it, like they fuck with their pops though. Right. Hard, you know what I'm saying? For them, because I know what we done been through, bro. Right. Like for real, I had to come about that thing, man. I was doing all right. Then shit went and I got fucked up. I was on my ass. Baby had it down for a few months. I told her what it was gonna be. And now it is what it is, man. Like for real. Nah, we live that shit. And my kids nah. know everything I talk about in my raps, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, apologetic, but unapologetic though. You know what I'm saying? They know uh, what they daddy yeah, talking sorry, about for real. Sorry, nigga. Everything mm -hmm. we talking about. <laughs> for real, for yeah, real. For real, for real. They, yeah. they know word for real what I'm talking about. So, yeah, that's my inspiration right there. Already, already. Man, man, the floor is yours now. Man, you tell people where they reach you. You tell people where YouTube is. You tell them, man, you can say whatever you want to say right now. You know what I'm saying? No doubt, no doubt, man. Shout yeah. outs. You know what I'm saying? Roll call. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, y'all already know, man. It's Tato Tato. Frontline G. Watson had your testes. You know what I'm saying? Dear pal, what's up? Oak Cliff in the building. You know what I'm talking about? We got that motherfucker. The Pay Hustle 2, already out, you know what I'm saying? Available on all platforms. Y'all go copy, man. Y'all go copy. I'm still, like I say, I'm still in the streets. If you want to hit me up, I will pull up on you with the CD. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, hold on. Hold up, B. God damn me. I don't see that bitch. Damn, where that bitch at? Right. I had the doctor in the team for you. Yeah. That's alright, fuck, fuck, fuck. You're gonna be in the kitchen, I'm looking in there. But, you already know what's up, man. We in the building, man. Square business. And, uh, shit, I just really appreciate you, bro, for having me out. Man, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, the pay hustle, too, like I say, it is out. You know what I'm saying? It's deeper than what you think. You know what I'm saying? I was talking about real nigga shit. And October 4th, this year, I will be dropping my next album title, The Influence. And that shit is gonna be. Major. Well, you heard it here on the first on Lit Podcast. You know what I'm saying? All I say, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Iron shopping, iron. You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody, you know, we need to get together. You know what I'm saying? Take over this city and do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, these shows, you know what I'm saying? Everything is kind of withering away. You know what I'm saying? We need something more to, you know, to contribute to the artists. You know what I'm saying? It's time to start giving back to the artists, to the craft of the music, man, because the music's been around almost over 50 years now. You know what I'm saying? It's been well, almost 40 some years now music been around. You know, and it's like, hey, it's a place for everybody. You know what I'm saying? We need to get up off that motherfucking monkey shit. Like my boy Pimp C say, you know what I'm saying? Nigga say he got a bread truck, get up off that crumb shit. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So, like I say, man, I appreciate you coming out. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. You know what I'm talking about? And we about this bitch and we lit, bitch! <laughs> People always told me I wasn't gonna be shit, but I always knew that I would be.